Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. As you can tell, we're on the side of the road right now and we are about to start exploring this morning. It's freezing cold, sun just came up. It's probably about eh, 7.30 or so, maybe eight o'clock now. And uh, we're limited on time, but last night Nick got out and you guys aren't gonna believe it, but he found safe ice. Found about probably close to two inches, give or take a little. And um, it's not the best ice in the world that we've ever found. But we're way up here in Northern Wisconsin and it got extremely cold last night. We think there's gonna be two and a half, maybe even more ice. It's hard to tell, but we're gonna be grabbing all of our stuff. We've got all of our fishing equipment with us here. We got our handy dandy spud bar. So we're gonna try and be absolutely safe as possible this morning. We're gonna go explore through the woods. We're gonna have a hike all the way out there to the lake out in the middle of nowhere. And we're gonna see if we can get on top of some fish. So let's go do this. So like Brandon was saying, we are way up here, Northern Wisconsin. And you guys are probably uh, really confused that we actually found ice because driving up to this spot, which by the way, we're, I mean, extremely far up. We're almost to the UP. But driving to this spot, there was, no safe ice anywhere on like any of the lakes but i somehow figured this one out only issue that we're gonna have today is we've never fished here before don't even know if there's fish in here there are no reviews on it uh yeah so that's gonna be a bit of an issue but hey it is halloween this is the earliest we have ever stepped foot on ice in wisconsin and we are just so jacked to get out here and to finally start the season, get back on the grind, and just absolutely hammer out some content for you guys. So, that being said, if you are pumped for ice fishing, make sure you subscribe to the channel, because we're gonna be bringing a ton. Make sure to give this video a like, and we are almost to the lake, and we're gonna see if we can get this done, so here we go. Woo! Okay. Take a look! Holy cow, is oh, a windy man. out. It's cold and it's windy, but we're here. Now this is a bog lake, guys. So actually what we're standing on right now is seeping ground is what I would call it. There's actually water below us. Um, so we're standing on earth <laughs> and we're basically just sinking into the water that's below us. Luckily, the ground has hardened up and it's kind of frozen-ish. It's right on the edge. But if you check out the water, yeah, check this that's out, looking guys. frozen. Holy crap, I almost don't believe this. All right. So here we are, one side of the lake. We're gonna pan this way. All completely frozen. She's locked, I mean, man. it's a very small lake, as you can tell, but Ooh. we're out here. It looks like it put on a little more ice than when I was here last night, which it should have, because it got down to like 24, I think, up in this region, and yeah, so the only issue though with the bog lake that you gotta be really careful about is like what Brandon was saying. This is, there's water underneath this. So right here, like a normal lake would be like half a foot. A foot, you know, and then obviously get out deeper as you go that way. But with this, that could be six feet deep right there. And you know, the water could go back under the bog that way a little. So you gotta be extremely careful on these bog lakes because you could take one step there thinking it's a foot deep and you could be over your head. And also on a bog lake, usually around the shorelines, is the worst ice. So right here is probably gonna be the thinnest. We're gonna have to find, like last night I went over here and that's where I was able to walk off because it was not as much bog. So we still got a little bit of work. We're gonna have one person go out, one person stay on the bog. Uh, Brandon is wearing a striker suit, so he's probably gonna be the chosen one to go out there. And if he falls in, I will be recording. Hopefully he doesn't, because it's freaking cold out, but we're gonna get out here and explore this lake. And we do have a special tool that's probably gonna help us get on top of these fish. We'll show you once we get out there. But uh, yeah, let's get after it. Whew, feels very strange to be walking on bog this time of the year. <laughs> this is like, the last thing I thought I would be doing today, but that's all right. We found ice. This doesn't look bad actually right here. Do you want me to go off there, you think? Oh yeah. It's right where I chiseled yesterday. That's how much ice we had last night. Okay. So. Wow. Really good, I went right off of here. Okay, well, here we go, huh? 
I'm trying to do here is just take one foot, keep the spud bar over here, just kind of transfer some of your weight. This seems really solid actually. And push most of your weight onto one foot. Bam! He's off! Ice fishing. Chisel hole, get after it. Alright, so that wasn't a crazy hit, but pretty solid. Ooh, we love that. Okay, well I didn't go through. Hey guys, look at me go. <laughs> All right, so with this lake, we got to be really careful. As you can tell, there's weeds and stuff like that sticking through. We don't know if this body of water is spring fed. So you're going to want to basically chisel pretty much everywhere we go here. So. All right, pretty solid hit. Wow. Okay, so that took, I'd say, two real hits. Um, not bad. I'm just going to keep going follow this out okay that was a pretty solid hit that's a pretty solid hit wow you guys we're really doing it we are really doing it right now this is good ice this is really good ice let's go baby <laughs> oh yeah this is solid okay I'm feeling pretty confident right now as you can tell, there's definitely different uh, layers of this ice. When I first came up to check this area about a week ago, part of the lake was open. We did experience some rain and a lot of this opened back up. Now with colder temperatures, it's refreezing. So, I know, I almost don't believe it either, man. <laughs> if you look down, you can see different tread patterns here in the ice um, it's shifted a little bit from wind that area might have been open for a day longer than this so the stuff that i'm standing on could have an extra half inch or so roughly give or take um, but i'm just going to follow this belt line in the water and you can see where this ice looks the best right in front of me compared to that not as much over there eh, doesn't look bad we may be able to walk out all of this, to be honest with you, uh, but we're in very sketchy territory here. So just to be safe, I'm gonna keep going, but wow, this seems like really good ice. Well, we're both out here now. Ice is so safe to where I feel confident standing right next to Brandon on Halloween. Can't get, I can't even believe it, I really can't. But, just the first hole, we got my unit, and this is no ordinary unit. You guys probably know what that is from this on the back and this giant freaking pole sitting in the water. This is my Panoptix Live Scope from Garmin. Ended up picking that up probably, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago. Did use it open water a couple times. Never could get the success that we wanted to push out a really good fall video. But we did vertical uh, fish walleyes, which was insane. This thing is crazy. The reason we brought it because we've never fished this lake. And obviously, if you've never used Live Scope before, uh, you can scan about 100 feet in any direction you want and see if there's fish. So if we come over here, I got in the water right now. It's about 13.3 feet. I got it scanning in forward mode. So this, this is pointing directly out in the middle of the lake. I got it set 40 feet out right now. And as you can tell, all of these specks right here, these are all fish right here. I have it in forward mode. I can flip it into down quick here. Just like that, I'll click it in. Tighten this back down. This actually works extremely well. I got to modify it a little bit, but this is actually the summit fishing unit uh, for the shuttle versus the actual Garmin ice fishing bundle. Uh, I had to assemble that myself, but the thing's sick. First drop down at 2020, here we go. So as you can tell, now we've got it in downward mode and it is a little bit different. So this should help us uh, once you're on top of the fish like this. We've found a school. We're basically directly above them. Oh yeah, check that out. I can actually see you jigging on there. Let's see here. Yeah, it's 13 feet deep and you're at about 10 feet, maybe just a little higher. Holy cow, that is pretty awesome. This is only like my third time using this unit. It sure does seem like fish, but none of them are chasing or anything. So I think what we're gonna do is actually head out a little bit and see if we can find some active fish. I don't know what lies in this lake, like we said, but if we can catch a freaking five inch perch, I would be happy. So let's see if we can get her done. Okay guys, as excited as I am to be out here, I'm also extremely pissed. I am smiling because I'm on ice, but real pissed. 
don't know anything about this lake. That's tending to be a problem right now because we can't find any fish. We keep on marking fish in the forward mode of the Garmin. But the problem is, okay, so I put it down, or like, oh, there's a fish 30 feet to the west. Okay, walk 30 feet to the west, drop it down, expecting to be on them. I scan around, fish is gone, and then I look and it's like, oh, 15 feet to the north. Walk 15 feet to the north, fish is gone. And rod's, rod's gone. See a rod. <laughs> hey. <laughs> No, but it turns out the whole lake actually is really good ice. Surprisingly, I thought, you know, with the layer look that it was going to be thinner in some spots, which it is, but it is crystal clear ice. You can see right through it, it must be a little dirtier water, but really, really good solid two, two and a half. Some spots, maybe even three, but no freaking fish. I mean, there's definitely in here, which makes me think that maybe it's just a bass uh, bog lake, you know, so a lot of these bass are just out here in the deep we're getting 20 feet so i mean it, it can't freeze out or anything so there's got to be panfish but i'm gonna go on a chisel mission here and i'm just gonna chisel a ton of holes and we're gonna see what happens and if we get one great if we don't then there's a few other lakes in the area that might have ice so yeah here we go as i'm scanning around here i got it 50 feet out if i'm scanning this way it says 50 feet that way, it is 45 feet deep here. Oh my gosh, what are we in right now? 30 and a half. What's Still that? not marking fish, but I am, I'm mind blown by how it's this deep and it's this froze, but also how there's no freaking fish. <laughs> it's, it makes no sense to me, honestly. Usually a lake like this, you know, maybe 15 feet max and it's bass, maybe it's small bluegills perch marked like some bigger stuff but it's freaking 30 feet deep i mean is this like a trout pond out here or what are we dealing with i have no idea but man i guess i'm just gonna walk that way and see what the heck the deep hole has in it there's got to be fish somewhere Whew. all right well as you can tell we are back on shore we're gonna be leaving this lake reason for that is just because well Quite frankly, we can't get into the fish. I think there are for sure fish in here. We've seen some swimming around. I don't know what they are. I'm assuming they're bass. I think this is just a largemouth bass, bog lake, typical for Northern Wisconsin, which is cool, but it's not exactly what we're after. It's hard because this is the best ice that we found, but well, quite frankly, we've never fished it before. So we're gonna go ahead drive around, see if we can find another body of water that's hopefully nearly as good of ice as this is. All right, well, this is a freaking disaster to get to. A lot of muck, a lot of bog. We're having fun. Nice thing is Nick's got some uh, rubber boots on, completely waterproof. Me, on the other hand, my dumbass decided a pair of sneakers would be good enough today. But we're having fun. Ah, uh, they're like waterproof. Oh, mother. Waterproof something they call them. They're water resistant. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, it doesn't really resist water when you just stand in about eight inches of it though. <laughs> okay. So as you guys can tell, this is uh, what we call a shit show. There you go. All right. But, we got out here and it looks completely frozen. Thinner than the other lake. Okay. I love the sound of that. Just kidding, I don't. Maybe got two inches here. Maybe two? Maybe. Second body of water that we've walked on. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't seem quite as ready, huh? I definitely would not. No, we could both hang out on there, have a little tea party or something. Go for a quick swim. Yeah, hard to say. This lake's kind of similar to the other lake that we went to. It's yeah, that. It's always good when it goes through on one hit. <laughs> yeah. That's when you know it's really safe. This lake doesn't look quite as ready. I mean, it's completely frozen over and it's walkable, but to get two people, all the camera gear, all the fishing gear, the Garmin, the whole works, I think that's going to be way too much weight on one secluded yeah. area. Well, if you had well, one guy in a bucket, okay, I mean. Okay, so we got two now. But don't know if there's fish in this one. But 
but there are more lakes if we keep going into the woods so we're gonna check those I guess cuz yeah I don't know if this was really gonna be the safest bet out here so well hey we did it we're standing on, I'm standing on it so. yeah you did it I'm Where sure you could walk out there but yeah. I just don't think it's worth it at this point we might as well find something better yeah. let's oh. go find another lake here quick all right well don't believe it look at this freaking guy no chisel or nothing. Okay, so this is a huge lake. It's 190 acres compared to the eight acre lake we were fishing just a second ago. Really shallow, obviously, but uh, the entire thing's locked. This is the third lake that we were walking on. So the theory of no ice in Wisconsin is a lie because we're here. But real quick, we got about 20 minutes before Brandon's got to go to work. This lake does have panfish. It doesn't have any reviews, but we can actually see what the heck's in the lake. So we're gonna get out there and just see if we can catch one bluegill because that's all I want today. All right, so just wanted to kind of fill you guys in on what's going on. Basically, it's really cold out and it's extremely windy. So I do apologize for the audio if it's a little rough. Um, basically, Nick is way out there right now. And what he's doing is just checking to see if he can find some panfish. There are also largemouth bass, and I think there's also some other game fish in here. Gonna have to check it out on the DNR website just to make sure. But uh, yeah, we're on ice. A little bit of crackage, about two inches pretty much all the way through. Like I said, Nick's way out there. This lake's pretty shallow, so um, unfortunately I do have to go to work. I know I've been saying that a lot. I uh, feel like I work all the dang time. But it happens, that's life. But we wanted to get out here this morning and uh, just do some adventuring, find some ice, safe ice that is. And we definitely found it. I mean, we're out here on a body of water that's nearly 200 acres. We're just so excited. We're out on ice in the month of October in the year of 2020. We're gonna start heading back. We'll see you guys at the truck. Well, unfortunately guys, that is gonna be the end of today's video. And sadly enough, we did not get on any fish really surprising honestly but we were extremely limited on time sunrise today was 7 30 i think almost eight o'clock so really couldn't see until that time anyways and then we were about an hour away from brandon's work so we had to leave at around nine so we probably only got like an hour and a half worth of actually trying to find fish and we did walk on a couple bodies of water. We did end up fishing that one, marking a few fish, but just never, never could get it going. That's what you're gonna find with early ice, especially like this early when there's literally like only a couple bodies of water that are frozen. I mean, we passed countless lakes that had no ice at all. And then we get to this one and there's three inches. So, you know, it's not like we're going out to our best crappie lake or our best walleye lake. You know, you're gonna go out and just find ice which is what we did so hopefully you guys still enjoyed hopefully you thought it was still entertaining you know us getting out here actually being on the hard water it really gets me excited i'm out actually checking a few other lakes right now because i have off all day today unlike brandon so i'm going to be out here checking fishing filming more videos for you before this warm spell because once that comes the ice is going to go off but turns out next weekend it's already looking cold again. So expect a ton of ice fishing. If you guys are as jacked as I am, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time guys, tight lines from NB Edits.